Hello everybody, my name is Grim, I'm going to make our video, and today I'm going to show you how to make this simple with leaderboard system, where you can buy coins and also saves. Let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do once you get in studio, is go to service, go to service, and click the plus. And then you're going to want to add in a script. You can just rename this script to leader stats. This is just going to be the main leader stats that save. So we're going to do game dot players dot player added connect a function player and this will be the player that is added so you do local leader stats equals instance dot new and then you're going to do the folder and then we'll do folder or do leader stats dot name equals leader stats this is the most important part oh uh make sure it's lowercase too make sure it says lowercase leader stats otherwise it won't work and then do leader stats dot parent equals player so this will put it into the player and then we'll do local coins equals instance dot new and then we'll just do a number value and then we'll do coins coins dot name equals coins and then we'll do coins dot value equals zero and then coins dot parent equals leader stats so if you go out if you hit play now you can see when you load in uh you have coins right up there that pop up in the leader stats and so it stop and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make we're gonna make the data save when we uh, get leader stats. Make the data save. So make a line up here. We'll do local. Uh, we'll do local um, data stores equal game get service data store service. And then we'll do another line. We'll do local store equals data. We'll do data stores. Oh, data stores get data store and then you can name it whatever you want you can do it coin save and now we're done here we're going to do game dot players dot player removing connect function player and now we'll do we'll do a store set async and then we'll do player dot user id comma player no, comma player dot leader stats stats dot coins dot value so what this is this does is um this what this does is um it gets the data store service it creates a data store coin save and then it sets, um, basically it sets a save for the player. It does player user ID for the name of the store, and then it sets the value to be right this, to be the value of how many coins the player has. So basically when you, when you leave the game, it'll save how many coins you have. And now up here we can do coins, co <laughs> coins that value equals, we can actually set this, we can do, um, we can do store, get, get async, and then we'll do player dot user ID. And then we'll do this and then we'll do or zero. So basically what this will do is it'll set the value of the coins to either be if the player has save, it'll set the it'll set the coin value to the save data that we set save down here. Or if it, they don't, it'll set it to zero. So if we test this out really quick, if you hit play. Oh wait, I actually forgot one thing really quick. Something very important, make sure you go to game settings, go to security, and make sure you have API services enabled. Otherwise, uh, data stores won't work in Roblox. So make sure you enable that and then hit play. And as you can see, I have zero coins. But if we actually go out of this, if we go to the players, go to leader stats, go to coins, we can set this to like 100. And now it's at 100. We can leave. And when we rejoin, 
it should save. Yep, there we go. It saves our coins. So now that we have the saving work, now let's make a GUI for the coins. So let's just make a quick GUI. Just add a screen GUI. Then add in a frame. Or we don't even need to have a frame, really. We can just add in a text label right here. Just make the background color just like a little like that. We can add in a UI corner to round it out. Set this to like 20. And now we can just set the font to actually do comic. Set it text scaled, rich text. And then we can just do dollars zero. Just like that. Oh. Just like that. And now we can set the color to white. And set the X alignment to left. I mean, center is fine. We can do center. But if you want, you can set it to left. That way it's on the left of the screen. But yeah. All right. So now we're going to code this. So if we just add in a local script. And we can just do local player equals game dot players dot local player. And then we can do local stats equals player wait for child leader stats so this will wait for the leader stats oh we can do oh wait oops leader stats and we can do local coins equals leader stats dot coins and then we can do coins dot changed connect connect function And we can do script.parent.text equals coins.value dot dot and then just do a dollar sign. And so now this should, the GUI should um, change to whatever the player's coin is. So if you have 100 coins, all right, there's one problem with this. We need to set it right away so we can do script here. I actually just should clone this. And paste it up here. That way, right away when the player joins, it'll set the value to that. So we hit play. Okay, let me see. Ah. Huh. Here, let's do um, leader stats wait for child coins there we go that should work because then it'll because it might uh take a little bit for the coins to actually load in there we go now it works and then whenever the player gets more coins it'll automatically update that so you can stop here if you want and just have the saving leaderboard and the um the gui but if you want we can add more to this we can add in a text box or no not a text box a text um text button and we can actually make this um we can make it so the player can buy more uh coins if they want to so you can like, make money off the game so if we just make this like that and add in a ui corner make that like 20 and then we can just set this right here because I had to pick screen color to suck that and make it a bit darker. Like that. And we can we can even make it lighter if we want. We can make it a bit lighter. Yeah, I think the darker is fine. Alright, now we can go down here and just set the text to be um, just a plus. And set the color to be white. Just like that. And so like a plus to buy more coins and now we can make another gui if you just go in here you can make a frame just like this and you can drag this just like that we can just rename this to coin frame coin frame and let's add in a ui corner make that like 20 and let's make the background just like a 
Just like that. Perfect. And now we can add in a text button. Just like that. And here, let's actually script this. So um, we click the plus. Let's just add a script. Let's do script.parent.mouse button one click. Connect. Oh, whoops. Mouse connect function. And then we'll do script.parent.parent. Script.parent.parent.coin. Oh, no, dot parent, dot parent, dot coin frame that visible equals true. So whenever you click this button, it'll make the coin frame visible. And now just add in a, let's just add in a UI. Now let's just copy this UI corner and paste it in. Make it easier. There you go. And let's just make this like a lighter blue. Just like that. Make this a comic. And we can just name this like um we can just buy do like buy uh this is do like one hundred dollars. Dollars one hundred. And here let me just change this because I kinda messed that up. I uh the dollar sign is supposed to be before. I was being kind of stupid when I did that. <laughs> Just hit dot dot. There we go. Dark sign zero. There we go. All right, and so now we can just add in a local script into this, into the buy. So we can just do script.parent.mouse button one click connect function and then we can do um let's get a service really quick we can do local service equals game get service and then we can do marketplace service and then we can do service uh prompt prompt product purchase and then we can do uh game dot players dot starter no dot local player i don't know why i said starter player dot local player dot user id oh no we don't, we don't need the user id we can just do a little local player and now we're gonna make a product so go to game settings go to monetization and then add in a developer product i already have some here but click the create button it'll add in a product you can make as many as you want and i can just rename this to like buy 100 or something like that and just price it at like whatever you want us to 10 save it and i go back in scroll down find the one that you did buy 100 and just copy the id and now you can just click on this and just do comma and put in the the id that you want and let's copy and paste these a few times let's do like t three of them and this one can be like buy one thousand like by ten thousand and then we add more uh developer products for these just do buy And I just go back in, copy those IDs, copy the 1,000, oh, whoops. Copy the ID, just click on these three dots and click copy ID to board. No, save. And then just paste the IDs in really quick. Ready to clipboard. All right, now that we have those done, now if you hit play, oh, well, so we've got to add a an X like button for that. So just add in a little GUI right here. Make it like a square, right quick. 
add in a UI corner. 20. And then just make it like red. Then we can just do uh, local script and do script.parent.mouse click connect function. And then just do script.parent.parent.visible equals false. Now we can exit out of like all of these tabs we have right here. There we go. And make the coin frame invisible. Hit play. All right, and so now when we hit the plus right here, it should come up with this and you can exit out of it. And when you hit the hit, the, hit this, uh, it prompts you with the purchase. But right now when you purchase something, nothing happens. So we are gonna code it so it gives us coins whenever we buy something. So we can just go into service group service, go back into leader stats. And now we're gonna do local, um, let's do local market equals game dot mark oh game dot marketplace service no no game uh get service marketplace service there we go okay now we can do we can do market dot process receipt equals function function info right there and basically what this will do is this is um, whenever a player buys something, it'll process the um, the purchase. And so we can do local, <laughs> local uh, user ID equals info dot player player ID. Whoops, let me make sure that's locus. Uh, local product ID equals info dot product ID just like that and then we can do local player player equals game dot players at get get player get player by user ID and then we'll do uh, user ID so we'll get the player and then we'll do um, if product ID equals and now we can go up to here, go to game settings, go to monetization. We can get the 100 first. And we can do, if it equals that, then we'll do, let's actually do local leader stats equals player dot leader stats local, local coins equals leader stats dot coins. Then coins dot value plus equals 100 and now we can copy the copy this um paste it two times and now we'll do equals 1000 equals 10,000 and then we can add in the um the product ids let's go out of here and copy the id for a thousand paste that in and do the same for the 10,000 There we go. And we actually need to make these uh, else if otherwise it won't work. There we go. And so now um, when you hit play here. Join in. We have 100 coins right now. If hit the plus, we can buy 100 coins. Buy it. And as you can see, it changes it by 200 or adds a 100 to it by 1,000. And we can buy 10,000. And when you buy it, it uh, adds coins. And yeah, this is basically it. It's a simple tutorial for this, like a simple um, saving leader stats with buying coins like system. Uh, I'll have a link in the description where you can get the model if you don't want to have to code it yourself. Make sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace.